All right, before we start, I just want to say thank you to all the partners, all the users that keep supporting us. You are amazing. And without your support, there is no iGems. So thank you, thank you. Um, this video is going to be about the um, most important, or in my opinion, the, the news that stands out in our CAD CAM software. And I'm going to talk about six features and I'm also going to leave you with a nugget uh, for 2025. And that's going to be a really cool thing for a lot of you guys. So let's dive into it. First up is the join command. So I am going to open a DXF, just click and drag, which is also a pretty neat feature. Um, we have lines and arcs here, which we want to turn into a continuous polyline. So we want to join them together. Now we can click join. And what you will see down here is a default value of zero. That means that we don't have to set the accuracy anymore. Not every time at least. So we can just select them, hit enter. So before you had to select everything, hit enter, and then you had to set a accuracy or a tolerance for the join command, but you don't need to do that anymore. So one click is out of the way for you. Next up is our layer command. And we're gonna use the same drawing as we did in the join command. Um, now the layers has found a new home at the bottom of the screen, to the bottom right. Um, it's It has the same features as before, but we just made them accessible from all, like in tools, cam, nest, you can access them uh, wherever you are, which is uh, a good thing. Um, so at the bottom, we have our layers. The zero will always be the default iGEMS layer. And then we have all of these are the layers that were imported with this DXF. So um, I can click edit, just drag this away a little bit. And we see that, for example, this bend lines, we can toggle them, visibility. Uh, yeah, we can do a bunch of stuff here, which you want to do with layers, change the line type and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so if I would have select bend lines up and created a line from near here to near there that will turn red and that will be on this layer right um, we also have the color swatch here if you want to change the colors but the layers you will find them at the bottom right in the screen from now on nest any entity into a dxf yeah that's correct uh let's go three for three with this uh dxf drawing um i'm gonna move this away a little bit like that select it then we have under group we can say group and it's also a g shortcut on the keyboard if i select it now you will see that everything is a group Head over to cam, rectangle, sheet. Uh, this is good for the demo. And just create a sheet like that. So we have an entity and another entity, which is a sheet. I wanna go over to nest, auto. Now, G, all entity types. Click that, select this, enter. And then select the sheet, enter. And let's go crazy at quantity thousand and click nest. Uh, okay, so stop, okay, close. Now I have this, I can select it and click iGEMS, save as, export. Oh, now it's selected and we can save it as a DXF or SVG or iGEMS drawing. So 
that's pretty neat if uh, you don't want to produce parts but you want to produce DXFs it's it's a really neat way of doing it we also did some improvement on the 2d bevel and for that I'm gonna go to parametric shapes add a this one perhaps a little thing and I'm gonna go right to the cam tab and create select this enter and enter so we have a part now I want to define it and I can do that in the 2d environment now you don't have to go to the 3d environment anymore so we have all of these shapes I want to focus on these two because they are um, much more powerful because you can use the contour command with them let's select an over bevel it's what I call it and it highlights as you can see the edge and this line here represents a over bevel like that if I hit enter and select an under bevel um, I can hit shift for the whole part or control on the keyboard for um, the continuous um, entity so if the hole would be selected here and the whole outer geometry would be selected here but if I click on this it's a dotted line when it's an under bevel okay looks like this now as I said the contour command has got bevels and loops this is major this is really really nice because I can I sit close select this shift C for copy and just copy make some copies here right like that if I hit contour bevels and loops multi I select these enter they will place beveled toolpaths on all of them and it doesn't have to be like one uh, type of part it can be any part so it's super fast and it is a great tool for you who are making simple bevels like if you're um, a weld shop or, or you know whatever you make uh, single line bevels this is really nice feature for you a new file type SVG so this one is mega this is so cool um, I'm just gonna go fetch a SVG and let's go to NASA because they're cool right this is nothing to do with NASA uh, just so you know so I'll just open this image it's an SVG I right click and I save as NASA short thing uh, like that and as always click and drag like that uh, now I can also show you another feature which is called reference scale so I want to scale all of these objects enter and from here to here I'm just making this rough guys so from there to there I want to make this one meter so that's thousand millimeters um, so we have this like all of these are CAD entities and I want to create a beautiful beautiful wall with tiles so I'll select tile and we have some patterns I'm gonna make a jag grid the joint size is gonna be three millimeters heights uh, 75 times 150 I think that's a classic subway tile so okay click uh, click like that now we have a pattern which is this and we have another pattern which is the NASA logo but uh, if I select cut it asks for the joint size the lead in and everything okay and it asks for the filter so this is the filter I click on one of these I've done that and now select objects I select everything and watch now guys this is really cool so this NASA the whole logo has turned into tiles like this so if we were to make a fixture on our machine which had 
holes like this uh, spread apart. Let me show you. Cam process. If I select this zero point and just go to the 2D, we will be able to make a fixture or when we use the tile cut command, when we produce the G code, it asks for a fixture. So we have rows, columns, uh, if where we want to stop. So, okay, hit okay. Let's see what happens here. Confirm with enter. And then we're gonna see here. Make a cut, make a cut, make a cut. Then there's our stop. Make a cut, make a cut. So basically what we're doing is we have a jig of, or a fixture of three tiles. We do that first tile, second tile, third tile. Then the machine goes up here and notifies us, okay, change the tiles. We do that, we press start again, and it goes back and cut the next round of tiles. And you don't have to have three tiles, you can make as many as you want to. That's a really nice and cool feature. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just want to show you what you can do with the SVGs, which you can import into the CAD CAM environment. Our last update is the circle cut, which lets you cut circles with one continuous toolpath. So it's kind of like a common cut line for circles. I've prepared a circle and a sheet here. I will also pro hit process cutting parameters and I will copy the tool diameter, which I'm using. And I will use that in the nesting auto nest. So select the part, enter, select the sheet, enter. And I will uncheck by material for the part distance and I will set that to the tool diameter. Now hit nest like this. All right, that looks good. Stop, okay, close. So now we have all these circles here. What I wanna do is go to cam, tool path, and circle cut. All of these settings, yeah, they're fine. Hit okay, select, enter, and now we can specify the start. So this is the only start and stop that we will have. So let's go from here and the lead angles I just confirm with enter twice. And so to demonstrate this, I will just go into the 2D simulation. Start this and you will see a continuous flowing motion through all these circles. This is a major update for cutting circles, at least. Uh, let's see if you're cutting foam or something that's, uh, you know, doesn't require tabs. And this is really, really nice. So that's it for the updates of this video, but there is one more thing. So I'm out here in the workshop and there's something I want to show you real quick. It's our new camera system or well, we have developed the software for it. We are going to support gig E cameras and that is a standard in the industry. So our partners, the machine builders can purchase basically any gig E cameras and mount it on the machine. It's going to be great. Another thing is our slab tracer command, which is a great command for tracing the outer edges of a slab and transform them into a sheet with the actual texture of the slab. That's gonna be a really cool improvement for uh, the stone cutting features. All right, catch you in the next one.